From Hawaii to Tokyo to Rio to real, young guys are being stupid. Because this is the jackass generation. And World of Stupid is your guide to the planet's foremost fraternities of extreme idiocy. Ten countries, ten crews, each with its own flavor of madness. Tonight, World of Stupid meets the stupid of Canada. It's a world of stupid. Stupid. People like jumping in water. This is the land of freedom, and it would be heaven on earth were it not for a band of drunken stupids who terrorize the place with an eight foot cock. Appropriately, these guys call themselves Bona, and they're the heartbeat of Canada's skate and snowboarding community, the kind of primordial soup from which Jackass itself was formed. Having developed a resistance to pain from repeatedly coming off their boards, Bona have the balls to try anything. Pull them out! Pull them out! <laughs> when the Bona boys aren't boarding, they like to relax at home by trashing the place. No. Not the door. No. <laughs> they do it practically every night. Get the shrub! Get the shrub! No. <laughs> Colin! No! No! Colin, it's done! We're done! We not, the couch. not the couch! No, not the couch! They wouldn't want to ruin it, would they? Despite being in their early 20s, all the Bona boys suffer from a kind of annual midlife crisis. Every year, they abandon their ordinary lives and head for the town of Whistler for the snowboarding season. Here, they film their less ordinary lives and make snowboarding videos with the footage. Bona are the bee. He's half bee, half pissed. The weasel. They're known as the weasel. He looks like a weasel. Nick, he's the mad bastard. Colin. Ah. He's an idiot. Fuck. And there are many others. But the guy that acts like the idiot glue, gelling all the numb nuts together, is Gary. I already heard that they're fucking calling the toe on us. It's the eve of the new snowboarding season, and the Boner boys have all moved into Gary's house, which he's kindly offered to show us round. House is a piece of shit. <laughs> Been a lot of action within those walls. Got the door here that Colin was trying to poke his head through last night. <laughs> As you can see, Colin makes his bed every morning, which is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I don't know anyone who makes their bed. Moving along, we've got a set of stairs here that have been frequently misused. Oh! Oh, oh. Switch. <laughs> There's been a lot of injuries on these stairs. Fuck all y'all! Oh! <laughs> you alright, dude? <laughs> He's not hey. out! <laughs> he knocked hey. himself out! You alright? Hey, he's, oh, he's bleeding, man. Hey! He's bleeding. Here. Roll over! Here, 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 here. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Probably broke his nose or something. <laughs> We've got a drunk tank here that was purchased especially for this week. Drunk tank! Drunk tank! Drunk tank! tank. Get her going drunk tank! Okay, go! Uh, basically, someone gets too out of hand, they're supposed to head into the drunk tank. I'm not sure how effective it's going to be. This is where all the guys are staying. Nice and neat. 
hot windows fogged up. In the winter when the bee was living here, he decided one morning to throw a bicycle through the window. That's why it's fogged up now. Uh, this is the bedroom of my girlfriend and I. See the gut trimmer. Some various pieces of artwork. Two bird dance albums. This is a state-of-the-art computer designed specifically for making movies. And that's what happens here. Movies. This will be Bona's fifth season together, and tomorrow they'll begin filming their fifth snowboarding DVD. Each DVD sells a couple of thousand copies, and besides snowboarding and apres ski, they usually feature a little silliness. Mixing the gayest music you can find with the craziest <coughs> death metal. As time went by, much of their extreme sporting activities were forced further into the background, and pure abstract nonsense took its place in the spotlight costumes were becoming increasingly more important and soon they were using special video effects. Here Bona filmed with a green background so the subjects could be superimposed on other images. They started filming elaborately staged action pieces and their films even began to look a bit professional. But in the movie world things aren't always what they seem. Guy, you fucking do it. We're going to the reuse. It's nothing too special, actually. Yeah. <laughs> What's the reuse? Some second-hand store. People bring their junk, good shit. and we take it. The rich people and bring all their it. drunk junk there, and we buy it for cheap. The reuse is a veritable Aladdin's cave for Bona, providing them with all manner of replacement furnishings. Find this one, they get smashed, and then we'll probably come back for that one after. Besides furniture, the reuse provides Bona with cut-priced exercise machines, which, for some reason, feature heavily in their films. <laughs> the exercise machines, I don't know quite how it started, but we ended up with a whole bunch of them from the reuse. Tony Riddle. We, <laughs> we bring them on trips. We bring them everywhere. They improve every shot. So. The reuse also goes a long way to defining the boner look. We don't want to look like all these other geeks, so we basically look as stupid as possible day to day life and we love it. Yeah, put a little strap there. With a nice new coffee table to take home and trash and a green cloak to wear on the slopes. And a pedal machine, good for you. And a pedal machine. Yeah. The Bona boys complete their purchases from the reuse. Awesome. It? So and then they head for home. Back at the refurbished house, the guys are getting a little restless. They're obviously excited about tomorrow, the first day of the snowboarding season, and it isn't long before they can't contain their excitement any longer. All of it. All of it? Yes. <laughs> Dude, that was a good cough. Oh, <laughs> chill, friends, in your eye, you crazy. How are you going? You did it. Wash out. Are you glad you came up? Wash your eye. Wash it. Well, if you watch our footage, you'll notice it's pretty much all at night, which means some booze has been consumed. <laughs> Compare us to other groups, it seems like they go out in the day and do stunts, yeah. but... Spontaneous. Basically, our stuff's spontaneous. The booze Just comes out at around. night, so does the camera. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Don't do it. Get the f*** out of him! 
He's not going. There's a kind of comforting predictability about bonus habits. They drink and they trash the house. It's that simple. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! Oh, off the balcony! No! Oh! 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 I'll fucking put you to bed. You fuck off. I'll put you to bed. <laughs> Perhaps they should all go to bed in case something valuable gets broken, like the telly or something. Oh shit. But don't worry too much, there's another one on its way. Just imagine how amazing their lives would be if they ever found out you could plug them in and watch things on them too. That one's just as shitty as our old one. In part two, the Boner Boys suffer terrible injuries. Gary's girlfriend has had enough. And this is our house, not theirs. And at last, the snowboarding season arrives. But things never go quite to plan in the world of... of Stupid is in Canada with a band of jackass actor-likes called Boner. They're spending the new snowboarding season in Whistler, BC, filming themselves for their latest DVD of stupidity. In part one, we saw them jumping from bridges and tall trees and they trashed their house twice. Later, we'll see how they injure themselves. Welcome back to the world of It's the morning Boner have been waiting for. Come on, mate. The first day of the snowboarding season. <sighs> and the guys have slept in late. <sighs> there she is, eh? What's going on, boys? Let's get something started. <clears throat> Last night was a big one. Excited by the prospect of the mountain slopes, the bee couldn't help but rehearse a few moves on the stairs. Remember what happens when you get active. <laughs> this guy gets off too easy. Hang on, don't fucking pull the lights out. Tarzan Rope. Fuck off. <laughs> Get off it. <laughs> Holy cow, it's still going. Don't even do that. I love that thing. Go! <laughs> Fuck off. He doesn't know how to Look. Go. Get <laughs> off it. Just slide down the fucking stairs. Get him out of there! <laughs> that was... <laughs> there you go, slide down. <laughs> oh, B, man, you okay? You took the door right to the fucking head, man. <laughs> I think he's hurt. Hey, you got this off his head. <laughs> you alright or what? <laughs> Your other speaker is underneath the fucking thing. Yeah. Look what you've done to my fucking light. I didn't do I didn't do anything to your light. Hey, maybe we can just stick it up there with the duct tape. It's fine. If it doesn't, it's fine. It's fine. Alright? It's fine. To cure their hangovers, they head down to the local lake for a swim. It's a glacier-fed lake, so it should help. Well, B, this is a good day to do the tree. The water level's high. <laughs> you ripped my hammy. You see how many fucking caterpillars are in that tree? Bees don't like caterpillars. 
I'm looking very forward to uh, the bee jumping out of the tree. This could be interesting. One, go! Oh, yeah! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hangovers tamed and bags packed, Bona are ready for the mountains. There's no time to lose as the last gondola leaves Whistler for the peaks in just a few minutes. <laughs> This is remind me so much of last year when they tried to go to Colorado and they got stopped at the border so I can see him getting stopped at the uh, gondola today and not making it very far. Oh, see you later Colin. Okay, let's go. We're another time. The plan is to get the last gondola up the mountain and camp on the peak overnight to get in a whole weekend of snowboarding action. At least, that was the plan. Due to a number of uh, less than cooperative people in our group, we ended up being a little late. Booze was also a factor. So now it's plan B. We're going to head up a different mountain called Black Tusk. It should be just as fun, I hope, maybe. The only problem with Black Tusk is that it's difficult to get to. First, there's a three-hour drive along the mountain tracks, stopping off briefly for a light lunch, Then there's a two-hour hike. By the time they reach Black Tusk, there's just enough time to set up camp before nightfall, and they've missed the first day of the season, all because they got too drunk the night before. Um, we've decided to camp right here. Take yourself a little beer fridge. Hey, where's that red fucking little bit out on here? <laughs> That's a fucking decent tent. That's a shitty tent. <laughs> it's on a bad slope. There's rocks in there and there's sticks in there. But once you're drunk, it doesn't matter. We all got kicked out of Boy Scouts, though, so... That's what you get, right? As nighttime descends, the Bona boys fight off the sub-zero temperatures with booze. Ah! Ah! I am your lord. I will destroy everyone. In fact, Nick gets so drunk, he starts seeing things. It's like King Kong. King Kong! King Kong! King Kong! That'd be good music for you. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Miles. Camping out on the mountain means they don't have a house to trash, so they trash the mountain instead. I took... Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm crazy! Miles. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, rocks. Oh, rocks in the face. <laughs> Well, Nick! Um, <laughs> the following morning, the Bona boys have a Mexican breakfast and then head out to play. This is what they've been waiting for. It might look like fun, but like all crews of stupid throughout the world, Bona pay the price for dicking around without considering the consequences. I have six screws and a plate in my ankle. I broke my back. Oh! So far I've only gotten a broken finger. Oh no! Twisted my ankle. 
I broke Will's sternum. <laughs> <laughs> Last winter, I tried sliding off a roof. God. <laughs> it's a good thing we're having fun, eh? <laughs> Joel, come here. It's coming along really nicely. Fingers are really sore, <clears throat> so is my wrist. Dude, <laughs> ready? Oh! Oh! You getting badly hurt? The, you can call down, and they'll send a helicopter to pick you up, and that costs you about five hundred dollars that helicopter trip. Bona don't have five hundred dollars, but still, that doesn't stop Nick from attempting a really stupid stunt from a melting snow cornice that's liable to avalanche at any moment. Ah, uh, looks like Nick's strapped in in his shorts, and he's I'm pretty sure he's got his drop in because he can't resist something like this. He's stomping around up there. I'm nervous as hell. I'm That's so That's suicide right mission. Now. Fucking idiot. That was sweet. Oh, I'm good now, I'm good now. Yeah. With some splendid, stupid footage for the next boner video in the can, the guys head home. They've got something special planned when they get there. They're gonna drink lots of beer and trash it. Hey, not. Oh, oh, oh. All my remotes. Yeah. We can fix the television set. Yeah. Give me a little turn back, glue. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Destructo Zone. Once again, everything we own has been pulverized. What have they been doing? What's all this glass? That's the TV. Hey. Christ. This fucking sucks! Hey. hey. Like once or twice is okay, but three times. I don't find this fun. This is our house, not theirs. Hey. Hey. What? I'm gonna make it good. Mm -hmm.